Welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy 1 Randomizer. Last time we left off having defeated the vampire in the vampire's cave, but been unable to progress further into that dungeon. So now we are looking for where to go next. There are two more cities that I can, or towns I guess, that I can visit. Uh, one is on the northwestern continent and one is on the northeastern continent. The northeastern one is Lufenia, um, which I should be able, I think I can get access to. Uh, that one's the one where you do kind of need like the Lufenian language, I think, to fully access everything. But we apparently learnt that in a chest, so we should be good. Uh, more Sahagans and Sahagan Chiefs. I don't think I've defeated the Chief yet, so we'll just nuke him with some lightning. And boy am I glad that the uh, ocean encounter rate is less, because this would be a horrendous rate. I don't remember how much is reduced. I think it's reduced by 50%, so it's a half encounter rate, but yikes, I uh, still think there's quite enough encounters. So if we head due north, that should bring us um, close to, I think, this town called Onla, or whatever it's been called in this. Yeah, more of these. Okay. These are weak enough that I should be able to flee fairly uh, easy. Okay, they tried fleeing as well. Good, just waste a turn. But having all nine of them was like, oh, come on. Alright. Because I don't need levels. Okay, there's no port there. Okay, so there's no port there. And unfortunately, FF1, you can only dock your ships on a port. You can't actually dock them anywhere you choose, which makes um, navigating the world map a little bit more annoying. And so hopefully Lufenia has a port. Because I really do not know where um, to go. Or at least somewhere on this continent has a port. Because you don't... It's like somewhere has to have a port, I guess. Because you don't uh, have access to the airship until you've cleared this continent. But the lack of world port is a little bit worrying. Yeah, so I can't disembark there. Huh. Okay, so I can see a port on the map on the southern continent. Looking at the map, there really does not appear to be any ports on the northern continent. Wow. Alright. Down south it is, and hopefully I don't need the canoe. Okay, yes, just thinking it out loud. So here... I wish there was a zoom function on this, but it appears to be no zoom. So, looking at here, I don't think there's anywhere I can access because I do not have a canoe. So, there was one more port down here that I can use. Uh, anything? I think I, I, think I can actually, actually get, use this one. Oh, that's a new enemy! Well, they're uh, very leggy centipedes or ankegs. Alright, let's go squish them. So these ones definitely look a bit tougher. Okay, yes, they didn't get wiped off out by the Thundara. And they also did actually take two hits by the um, fighter. So they got a bit more. Looks like they got about 200 HP now. Okay, but I think I can get to that city there. Yes. Awesome. Alright. Oh. And trolls and minotaurs. Okay. These are about the enemies that I was facing last time. Both of those were in the cave. Um, the giant's cave? No, the um, earthen cave. Okay, crescent lake. Let's say a heal up. 200 gil a night. Wow, you are getting a bit more expensive. Not that gil is very short at the moment. Uh, there's still plenty of gil about. Thanks to all the chests having a ridiculous amount of gills. Alright, item shop. What have you got? High potions, remedies, 
I dropped. Nothing's caused darkness yet. Okay, remedies are pretty good. Uh, 70k gill. Let's get a few high potions. And a couple back up phoenix downs, actually. What else have we got? I've got a garden bed. Armor. I doubt I'll have much more armor here. A protect ring! Ooh! That's good. That's armlet slot for everyone. Silver armor and leather gloves. Yeah. Can I buy four? Okay, I can buy four, but I'm um, be a little bit short on money. So let's just buy two. You've got the lowest defense. Uh, and then you are tied. I don't think any, the mages can use any shields. I'm going to save my gill a little bit because otherwise, if I buy four for everyone, that's um, not much gill left over. Just in case there's some good magics to buy. Invisera. Racist party's evasion. Dayaja. I can't use that. Full life and holy. Oh my gosh, those are all really good spells. Ooh, and they're also expensive. And I can only use Invisera with my white mage currently. So the rest of them are the uh, upgraded white mage. White was confused. Nope. Death. I got something better. Raises uses attack, casts attack and accuracy. Ooh, that's a good one, but I can't learn it yet. And paralyze an enemy. Okay, level six is kind of average for the black mage. Like level five was for the white mage, I think. Uh, husband's always traveling in this little, and in the little time he is home, he sleeps all day. <laughs> I think he needs to get his priorities straight. He's probably exhausted from all that traveling. Okay, none of these are interesting. So, armors were the really big one. This is okay. I guess that's the husband. So we, that's this town seems to be. Okay, how do I get over there? Over here, right? So we've got a bunch of sages. So I'm gonna guess they got something to give. All right, Lucan. I see a cycle of wrath, a dim light guided by destiny, about which our entire future revolves. Okay. So twelve. Sages, are you just going to give me lore? Defeat the fiends, the four fiends plot to rule the world. Right, cool. Fiend of fire passes all engulfed in flame, all four crystals return. Okay, volcano gut rises to the west of the town. So you just give hints for where to go. Um, you're not saying anything different. Um, oh, canoe. Okay, I guess I missed on talking one of them. Awesome. All right, well, that opens up another dungeon or two. Excellent. So now we can indeed go off uh, and take on the... Yes, the volcano, which I think we can just... Oh, there's encounters on the... Lovely. There's also encounters on the water here. I was thinking the rivers would be safe. But I guess not. And it's a Neochu. Okay, Neochus are um, tough. Let's go. Maybe that'll kill it? Wow, these Neochus are actually a... Step up indeed. Oh, you bastard poison me! Right, well, back to town. Yeah, poison is like the worst status ailment in all games. I remember trying to play um, Breath of Fire 2, I think? One of the ones that's on the Nintendo Online um, service. And like the first dungeon, everything poisons you, and you've got one party member, maybe two, 
and it's like this is pain you go into one floor you're just having to constantly go in and out of the dungeon just to heal the damned poison and like the poison takes off like a quarter of your HP or maybe not that much but a sizable chunk of HP and you've got no resources so you're like this is this is pain uh, lovely river waterways oh a non neo tree and a bunch more enemies to add to the bestiary all right thunder go go so things items that I really want are the floater stone or pumice I think that gets me the airship which means I can avoid so many encounters uh, ideally I need the loot to be able to clear the game and obviously I also have to defeat the four fiends now I have defeated quote unquote uh, two of them because apparently talking to NPC checks equals a defeat all right we've escaped the fish and the crocs all right and now we have the volcano now I think this is going to be a fairly lengthy dungeon, just a sus. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, lovely! We've got damage floor tiles. Okay, how brutal are you going to be? And please do not have encounters on them. You. Okay. Okay, the damage is not that bad. I was worried it would be like FF5, where it just puts you on one HP basically, and it's just horrendous. Okay. Fire centipede is done. Now this is Mount Gullag proper. Okay. Oh hoo. Well. Oh my god. That's a lot of treasure chests. So what's the best route? Okay. Um. Best route is this way. So I don't have to back up. Ooh, that's a hoard and a half of treasure. How many treasure is in this dungeon? Fire Hydra. Get smacked. Oh yeah, you're still squishy enough. Monsters. Alright, more monsters. Ooh, fire elementals. You know, I hope Blizzard is good for you. Smack. Now yeah, is that going to be good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, Blizzard for the win. And a good amount of MP. And that means we're going to be fighting a heck of a lot of fire elementals in here. Ice Brand. Actually, yeah. Upgrade and... Kind of ironic that it's in the fire dungeon. Because this is the perfect place to uh, use it. More monsters. Everything should be weak to the ice magic. I just want to see, make sure that I see how much damage the Ice Brand does to things. Smack. Alright, 300. That's not too bad. So, it's a shame Fighter is so slow though. And it's not guaranteed to attack fast. Or early in the cycle. A potion. That was um, not really worth it. Okay. Potion again, and I guess that's that. Oh, I've got to hike back to that one. Ew. Okay, and then that. Cool. Oh, Horn Devils. That's a new type of enemy. Um, and. The Thundergorn. So I don't know if enemies actually have like proper elemental weaknesses in this. Because I feel like everything in here should be weak to that ice brand. As soon as I can go back to Canaria, because there's exit and teleporter there, or at least exit, that'll be so nice. So I can just like piece out of a dungeon when I'm done with it. But I do also need to have the upgraded mages. So Hilgigas is not very effective. Okay, that's that done. Monsters, unsurprising. More fire elementals. Um, I can do it in one round, I guess. 
It is kind of annoying because like I, you can't split the damage very well because the Black Mage basically one shots them, but then you have it you still have to have like two turns. So you either have it a one turn where you're wasting attacks essentially. Dragon Melt. If I can equip that. Nope, can't equip that yet. But that's, I want to say, probably going to be like the top tier armor for the fighter. Or warrior. Fighter? Warrior? Warrior. Fire Hydro. Well, you die faster. One shot. Easy. HP up. Man, that Black Mage really has got squishy HP. Get these two treasures. Monsters and probably more monsters. Preempt. Nice. Let's go. Because, wow, I'm just looking at the White Mage's HP and she's actually surprisingly uh, tanky. <laughs> Alright, that's good. The Thief is still fairly uh, low HP. But yeah, Black Mage is even more copper arm band. That's I'll take that cottage. That cottage will be useful. Okay, which way do I go? Second one down here. Hmm, I wonder if you're guarding the treasures. Or I can just ignore you. Because I can walk around you. So I think those Oh, you survived. Uh those enemies on the overworld in the original NES version or I think also in just all the older versions, um, they are trap tiles, so it's a guaranteed encounter when you uh, run over it. Wow, there's a lot of potions here. Ooh, you and you. Look at that draw on that. Also, it's not really the right colour for a lava worm, but I guess I ran out of colours. Ice armour. Monsters. Another one. Okay, I can just smack this thing. It doesn't have enough HP. I wonder if we can hit hard though. Okay, I managed to survive all the attacks. You can still get smacked. And you are done. Kill. More monsters. More worms in the chest. Rinse and repeat, smack him. Hopefully get some nice good crits or something. Wow, that was really appalling damage from the thief there. 16. 27. He's uh he needs an upgraded weapon. More guilt. Antidote. Well, once he gets a job changer, uh, he will have Oh another protect ring. Right, cool. Uh I didn't need to buy all the protect rings that well. Poralisk, I don't like you, but you're a new type of enemy. Do not. Do not petrify me. Okay, you're not going to have a chance. Very much not so. Okay, good. And a gold needle. Yep, they can definitely petrify then. Okay, so... Yep, that's all the treasures here. We just take down the left-hand root. Wait, what, what? Oh, no. Wow, you are also from like two dungeons ago. Plus. Let's not fight you. Oh, I actually have. What the heck is. Oh, wow, that doorway down there on the left is a troll. Okay. So I can't actually. How did I do that? That's. Run away! Don't petrify me. Yay. But uh, yeah, so I can't actually get to the outside from here. Okay, so which way do I want to go? Down straight? Yes, down straight. That is the fastest route out. That's a ton of slime. How's about no? So here. Uh, try and avoid as much as I can. Okay. Ooh, okay. Alright, left is dead. And the route we want is the right. Up immediately onto the tile. You. Oh, Hellhounds, you are new. Alright, I guess I attack you. 
for the bestiary. Though they look very um furless for doggos. Yeah, level up from everyone, nice. More intelligence for the knight who's never gonna need it. More stamina is nice. Better luck, better stamina, more intellect for smashing things. I really, really do hope that there is no encounter on the uh, lava tiles. Oh, wow, sir. There's a few. There's also some new things, so. Blizzagar. That's a lot of things. Hyena dons. Yeah, I guess that's spotty like an actual hyena. And the Ogre Mage and the Ogre Chief hold paralysis? Yeah. Well, altogether that's not the worst person to have hit to with paralysis. Yeah, yeah. Insta-kill. And down here. Alright, where to go? Okay, I'm guessing there's... Well, it's down here. I am assuming that there is no, there's no encounters on lava tiles, which is lovely. So you taking the damage is way better. All right, now where to go? Okay, going left is a bad idea. Okay, so we go south one, and then west one, and then we're golden. Man, this room would suck up without the mini-map or having a map on hand. Get encounter on the one tile. At least it's a preempt, which means I can run. Free run. And go with the uh, very hot encounter nun. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got a door there. Door. Door. More doors. And it doesn't... Alright, so what have we got here? Okay, so we've got two treasures. That's nice. Everything has treasure. And, of course, there's going to be monsters. So I'm looking at time here, and I'm thinking this uh, dungeon is going to take a little bit longer than uh, anticipated. Mithril shield, that is not an upgrade because I've got the flame shield. Ooh, fire lizard. You do not like an ice brand though. Smacked, that's a new enemy. And a bunch of kill. So, we're not going to be able to complete this uh, dungeon in this episode unless it goes super long, which I would like to avoid. So, we will call it here for today. And next episode, we will be continuing the uh, Mount Gullag Volcano Dungeon. Until next time, let's type this out. And have a good day, guys. Bye!